Get ready for the smackdown. Get ready for the smackdown. How you gonna react when you're put in the back Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown. All right, guys back again for villain wars and uh we are on fight number five yeah this one comes from me hope you guys enjoy and hope you guys enjoyed fight number four which was given to me by dylan malone number 14 all right so we so very much it's capcom versus marvel here guys and uh it's basically m bison versus the Mandarin. Alright, so we have the dictator, the leader of Shadowloo, or Shadowa, versus the arch nemesis of Iron Man, the man who wields the ten rings of Makinu. So uh, let's kick this off, shall we? Alright, so uh, we start off with Bison. Bison to me is one of the out of two of the true villains of Street Fighter. There's only two in my book. Nobody has surpassed these two guys. Bison and Akuma. Those are the only two true villains. Major, major villains. Uh, Bison is pretty much the leader of Shadow Law or Shadow Lu, whichever way you pronounce, want to pronounce it. Remember in Japan, his real name is, is uh, it's Vega, but here in the States, he is known as M. Bison, which stands for Michael Bison. Uh, he is a ruthless dictator who has caused harm to many characters in the Street Fighter universe. Chung Li, Guile, Kami, you name it, he has done it. Uh, Bison is a art archetypical uh, villain he's kind of motivated by his own self-seeking interests you know he doesn't look at things more of like I must rule the world more of like if it interests him then he's all for it but he does his lust for power is pretty much the typical stereotype of a villain um, and like I said he is the founder and leader of Shadow Law Shadow Lou there they have many illegal interest you name it uh, and he is one of those types that is very very powerful and where does this power come from his psycho power um, it's like a power that enables him to do so many things with literally to fly uh, teleport shoot beams of energy consume his self with energy hence his various attacks showcase that like his very powerful psycho crusher uh he uh, bison is an arrogant douche he's a dick let's just let's say what it is he really is and but he's still very powerful but he but his arrogance knows no bound and it's his arrogance that also is his greatest weakness. Uh, now let me repeat that once again. It's his arrogance that is his greatest weakness. That is how people take him down. But like I said, it's you just got to find ways behind his great martial arts skills, but also his psycho power, which increases his strength and all his attributes tenfold. So let's move on to his challenger. And his challenger is probably one of the most recognizable villains of Iron Man, the Mandarin. Now, the Mandarin is the type of villain that I love, that I like. He is he has brains and he has bronze. He's very intelligent, brilliant scientist, and also he's a great martial artist. Um, and he's probably one of the most powerful adversaries of Iron Man. Now, 
When he was traveling in the Valley of Spirits, he came across a spaceship um, and found these, basically, the stones. And uh, he found Makano technology and crafted them into rings. Ten rings. Five go on each finger. And I'm going to tell you what pretty much they are. You have the ten rings give him different powers. One is an ice ice ring. The other is a uh, a mental ring. The other is an elect elect uh, electric ring, um, flame ring, and like an energy ring. So pretty much that's just one. And then on his his other hand, on that's on his left hand. On his right hand, he has black light, dark, so he can absorb darkness. Uh, he he has a disintegrator beam uh, he has a vortex beam this is clearly from uh, you can look it up for yourself guys he has an impact beam that you know has a destructive like pretty much you're getting hit with like uh, 300 300 uh, 300 pounds of dynamite that's pretty much he can disarray uh, rearrange matter and all these rings now putting them together is even more forceful and then, of course, like I said before, Mandarin is a incredible, incredible martial artist. Now, the rings have been other places. Now, they used to be on his ring, on his hands, but then later on, he embedded them in his spine. And this is the same guy that can take Iron Man in a fight, hand to hand, with Tony in his armor. That's saying a lot. He is a very, very dangerous man. And he has, he has been able to outwit Tony and many other smart villains of, of Tony very much. Uh, Mandarin is no joke, and he's, he's one of my favorite villains, actually. So we move on to the battle breakdown. And the battle, so we have, so pretty much it's the power, the psycho power versus the power of the Ten Rings of Machina. How would this play out? Now, Bison is, like I said, he's a powerful dictator. Mandarin is very powerful himself, but also he's got intelligence. He's smart. Bison's no fool neither. Don't get me wrong. Bison is no fool either. But I think, this is me, in terms of power, I say maybe they're maybe a little bit dead even in terms of power and strength uh, that's just me other people could look at it differently can disagree that's all that's what these are about uh, but it will mostly come down to me the brain Bra brain instead of brawn because if that's the case bison have won this a long time ago because their time bison can be just a brute so I really look at it from a point of how much can each person take? How much can both men take? How much can Bison take? How much can the Mandarin take? Full powered, both of these individuals going at it. What say you? Um, in my opinion, I look at it from the point of Bison loses because of his arrogance. His arrogance will be his downfall. And once again, Mandarin will capitalize on that. That's how I look at it. I could be wrong, but that's how I look at it. So I'm giving this to Mandarin, actually. Um, but I can definitely see Bison trying to take the Ten Rings away from Mandarin just to add to his, his own power. Could you imagine that? Bison with the ten rings? Ooh. But I'm saying Bison. I'm saying Mandarin on this one, guys. Who do you feel wins? Bison or the Mandarin? And I hope you guys enjoyed this fight. I'll be back with another fight for you guys. And as always, take care.